Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. One F30. <laughs> What's up, bro? Damn. I need to stop saying that, right? <laughs> Whoa, bro. Black. Black looks so good. Dude, I need to stop saying damn. Okay, so dang. <laughs> this looks so good. Wow. Mashallah. The hood, guys. I don't know, guys. Do you think this is repairable? Let me know. I'm not trying to buy a new hood. Yeah, it, it is a black, you know, obviously it's the original hood. You know what, this might be fixable. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it didn't, gotta... because you know there's like a thicker piece behind it, and it's like, this might be oh, fixable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this might be fixable. But uh, Mark, you guys already put it all together for the most part. So you, said, you guys can see the other day, they bund it all together. Yeah, um, just take it off. It comes off that easy? Yeah. Oh, uh, you pull it off real quick. Is the headlight just gonna fall off? Nah. It's, it's normal. Okay, well, you guys can clearly see that. So we just need the bracket, I think. Well, how the best? Well, this is slightly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, so I've never actually replaced this on my brother's since my brother's was fine. This is actually slightly bent up. But I think on these, yeah, the F chassis, they're just bolt-ons. Up to, like, the subframe, right? I mean, the actual frame right here, you can remove them. So these are replaceable, thank God. Because, uh, yeah, for a second there, I was like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the heck? You should have told me about this. But yeah, it's not this a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, what what Yusuf was saying in the other, what happened? The, consent, uh, the what is it called? The condenser? Yeah. This is the only one that's bent. Yeah, the, no, the, the rest container. of the stuff looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And the fan too. Fan's good? Yeah. Good, perfect. Yeah, so, just use a condenser. Yusuf was messing around. This is not reusable. You can literally put your, whole, oh, yeah. your, your finger straight through that thing. We gotta replace uh, that. And it came with this bar too, right? It's just, yep. yeah, I've seen a bolt this that thing. This one is like literally was in the trunk, but yeah. it's literally fine. Like. We're gonna have to drive this over to my house. I'm just taking off everything for now. Yeah. And then, yeah, it comes with all this stuff. It's not even damaged. And then these things are just not screwed in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it looks really we good. We can turn on the car if you want. Yeah, a little bit later. Um, You have this thing, just the same as my brother's. Oh, my brother needs to borrow your uh, your intake to pass smog. For real? Yeah, you so it's it? perfect. You can just borrow okay. your intake to pass smog and we put it back. All right, no problem. That doesn't oh, yeah, what is that, that goes into the intake. <laughs> Don't make me look stupid. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. You guys can see they included everything. The intake box, is it cracked? No. Really? Yeah. My brother's is dead. Dang, all right, perfect. That's awesome. Comes with the sensor. Yeah. Um, and it even has this part right too. here, which actually helps my brother pass smog, which is perfect. Got all these All the screws. This is going to be pretty easy to button it up, hopefully, sure. for the most part. And this is the extra headlight they just threw in. Yep. So I can sell it, make some money. Alright guys, so we're gonna be hopefully getting this to my house in a couple days. Maybe like a day or something like that to work on it. But you guys know I have to at least get one of my cars out of the garage. I can't take out my dad's car, put two broken cars in the garage. So I have to go fix my M3. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Um, they brought in the radiator from the trip. Because I was on the trip, so shout out to you guys. Shout out to my dad. And his dad, yeah, I noticed his dad brought it. But yeah, I uh, brought in the radiator. So we have the new radiator, we have the new fan. We're gonna go ahead and stop. Hopefully everything runs smooth. And then you can get my car out of the garage, get this thing inside the garage uh, and start working on it. Because I know my we don't have a car anymore, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we need to get it. Nowhere, man. Yeah, on, we gotta get it back on the road. All right, guys. So already home. Basically, new fans there. Don't worry, I set everything down very gently. Uh, we got the LED lights. I don't know if you guys know about some LEDs for the E46, some halos. I'm gonna black out the housings. I'm gonna do some super six things with those. I'm also thinking about putting those M3 rims on them. I'm about to buy the fourth. So I listened to what you guys said. We got a sensor because the oil, the oil sensor's gone out. And I picked up a new screw with a new washer because it's slightly leaking. And then I also picked up a small torque wrench to make sure that I torque that perfectly to see if that's my issue or not. So yeah, I went ahead and picked up all these things for the E46. So yeah, future videos come up on the E46. We also have a bumper coming in from Keys Motorsports. Shout out to them. E46 bills is going to be pretty dope. We also going to be wrapping that car. So I have a lot of cool things coming up for the E46. Meantime, let's get this baby on the road because this is my baby. That's so why I want to drive every damn day. This is the car that I have all my pride and joy in. So let's go ahead, hopefully, get the radiator in there, get the fan in there, get it all installed, put some new coolant, um, and then get it started. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys. Oh my lord, finally a good fan. Let's go ahead. Sit that right there. God bless, God bless. Check this out. They even sent me new gaskets and uh, some of these extra things. So we are good to go. All 
All right guys, that's the bad radiator. I'm just gonna go ahead and package it up, put it in the original box, ship it back to them, get a refund on this. I think I have to pay the shipping on this thing, so it's gonna be kind of expensive, maybe like 50 bucks, but I get my other hundred and something dollars back off this, so I'm happy with that. Um, got a new radiator. Let's go ahead and see if this is easy to install because taking it out wasn't that fun, but I think installing it, it's a little bit easier here. Um, hope I didn't puncture any of the things as I was trying to pull it out, but everything looks pretty good. All right, guys, so I just realized something. I'm missing these little screws that go in through both of these to hold the radiator from moving. Because you see a slight wobble, but I remember once I put in the fan and I put in the hoses, the hoses, and when it has coolant inside of it, pressurizes it to where it barely moves. But I'm guessing the vibration a little bit is coming out of these. So I need to buy these two screws. I looked them up, they're about $40 each. So, you know, your boy is not going to do that. I'm going to try to go to a junkyard and pick him off another car because 40 bucks for these little two screws is insane. It's 80 bucks for both. The one I had, I picked off an E90. So I might actually have to order them online. Maybe some uh, aftermarket ones, but these are the E90 ones. These E90 ones are pretty cheap and they're short. Uh, the M3 ones are like that much longer. So uh, these don't reach the radiator. If you guys look at it, like right here, the gap is kind of big. So... I need the M3 ones. Meantime, let's go ahead and put in the hoses. Uh, oh, actually, we need to put together the new fan. Hopefully it fits in the, the housing right there. All right guys, I think this gasket uh, was off for so long that it's kind of hard to go back in. So what I'm doing is, I don't know if you guys can see my method here, but basically I'm dipping this whole thing into a gallon of uh, distilled water. It's gonna leak a little bit, who cares? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna let it soak in for a little bit, let the, all the seals get them pretty much get wet. So it just slide in there fairly easy and I'm gonna lubricate this as well so it can pop in pretty easy. Guys, I don't know how that works so perfectly, but yeah, basically the gasket got pretty much uh, watery, got, and I just, Pushed it in there and it worked perfectly now. Now it's not coming out. Uh, now, so to go ahead and put this in its clip, in its clip, that's in its clip. Uh, last thing I gotta plug in is this fan. Bam, it's plugged in. See, this is lightweight, still moving a little bit, but not too much, especially when you put corn in there and it pressurizes, it's really hard to move. So, in the meantime, I can still run the car, but I need to order those two screws to hold down this radiator. Um, it lines up perfectly. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it lines up perfectly on this side. How about this side? Yeah, this side as well. It lines up perfectly. So we are good on that, which means everything is where it's supposed to be. But I need those two screws to hold down everything. So when the fan moves, it doesn't vibrate the car. Meantime, let's go ahead and assemble the rest of the stuff, all the intake and everything. Uh, so this car will be pretty much ready just for coolant. All right guys, so pretty much got everything back, the fan, the radiator, uh, fan doesn't move much. Remember guys, I need these things, I need these two screws to make sure everything lines up perfectly. So I'll go ahead and order those tonight. I don't care how much it's gonna cost me. Um, I did get everything pretty much brand new now, new radiator, new fan, uh, all this good stuff. The fan I picked up used, but again, it's brand new condition, so hopefully, Everything should be good to, go, good to go on the M3. I could run down to AutoZone and pick up, you know, the coolant, the green coolant, but I'm not gonna do that. Again, everything on this M3 I'm trying to do perfectly. So, I have to wait till tomorrow. I have this one shop. It's like an independent shop that buys things in bulk from like BMW and stuff and they sell for slightly cheaper. Um, so, I'm gonna go down to them tomorrow there in SAC. All right, guys, sorry that I'm recording with my phone right now. This is the next day. We're here with the M3. Everything got reassembled. We're just waiting to see um, if there's any more coolant leaks. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go get the coolant out of my dad's car. I went to go pick up some coolant, a couple things for another video for the E46, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But yeah, without further ado, let me just go get that coolant real quick, slap it in here, OEM BMW coolant, and hopefully there's no leaks. Uh, I know it's better to test it with some distilled water, so I'm gonna put 50% distilled water first, let the car run. If I don't see any major leaks, I'll put the other 50% of uh, antifreeze. 
I don't know if you guys also know, Omega Tuning is the company that sent out these beautiful air scoops right here. They sent me out some amazing front and rear tow straps that are actually used to tow the car. So I'm gonna put some right here, some in the rear. I think these will look super dope. So these will be in a coming up video when I'll be doing a couple more bunny together of the car. Um, as of today, we're not gonna throw these on, mainly because we have other priorities to do, like this giant leaking E46. But yeah, just in case I didn't show you guys, the new fan is in perfectly, no issues, um, new radiator in, everything's hooked up, everything is mounted where it needs to be. Um, we'll just go ahead and put some distilled water, 50% first, let the car run, and then put some 50% uh, antifreeze if I don't see any leaks. I love problems, god damn it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jack up the car because we have another leak. Right, let's see what's going on here. So either that drain screw is not tightened, or let me get the right socket head to figure this out. All right guys, so I just checked. This is from a radiator lower hose. It needs to be connected properly. This side is the, the automatic. It had the automatic, um, what's it called? Drain screw. So the, what I need to put in is the manual drain screw, which is one that's shorter. So it came with uh, it came with one that's shorter. I'm going to install that real quick. So this is everything else that came with this radiator. Uh, I need to use this small one right here. It's this hose right here. So let me go ahead and snug that up a little bit. Right there on the ground. Thank God I found it. I really didn't know how to actually find this stupid gasket. I would have had to order the whole hose most likely. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to put together all this stuff and then uh, put back the hose. All right guys, gasket is in there. Let's go ahead and see if this will go back in perfectly and uh, hopefully this thing works. All right guys, after putting in the new, uh, not the new, but I found the original gasket, put everything back. Luckily, it all went in pretty easy. I mean, it was super hard to get the new gasket in because it wasn't like in its regular shapes as it popped out. It was able to like stretch or morph or whatever. So I tried test fitting it on this and it wouldn't work. Um, so what I did, I used some WD-40 and it just went in there like it was nothing. And I'm like, okay, perfect. So I tested it out on that one. Luckily, I had another radiator out and then uh, pretty much just snapped into place really easy through here. Um, that was the first time WD-40 actually proven itself to me as a useful tool. But yeah, since we have everything in engine bay now, let's put in some more distilled water. Hopefully we have some good news. Um, no leaks. So we put the new screw, we fix the, we fix the hose, uh, new fan, new radiator. All right guys, come on now. We pretty much did a, pretty much did a whole new U-Haul on, uh, on the cooling system here. So let's put in some distilled water. Hopefully no leaks. Okay, that's in there. I'm not hearing anything this time, which is a good sign. And I'm not seeing any leaks either. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, I'm gonna put in coolant now, and then I'm gonna start up the car. Unfortunately, since I forgot my camera, my brother's car, I don't wanna try to pour this with my uh, phone in my hands. I'm gonna try to pour this real quick, guys, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. It looks like it's topped off, 50% coolant as well. Looks like there's any leaks, <laughs> besides all that shit on the ground, but nothing new. All right. I think how you bleed it is just you untighten that screw and then you retighten it. I think that's all you gotta do. So let me just do that real quick. So for those of you guys who don't know how to do a bleeding thing, uh, bleeding procedure on an M3, it's not the same as a regular E90, E92 because uh, the regular E90, E92s have an, uh, what's it called? Like I think a automatic water pump, an electrical water pump. These, these do not have electrical water pumps. These are pretty much manual pumps. So all you gotta do now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car, run it for a little bit. You have to heater all the way on. Make sure your heater's all the way on. Let it run for a little bit, maybe like a minute. After it runs for about a minute, you just pretty much loosen this up just a little bit. Here all the bubbles getting out, tighten it back up. Uh, check your coolant if you gotta add more coolant and then just keep going over and over and over. That's what I do real quick. All right guys, first startup in about two weeks. I haven't been able to touch this car for two weeks. One week on the trip, one week of it just sitting in the garage. So first startup of my baby. Oh my God, I haven't sat in this seat in a long time. All right, here we go. That was really loud. I think I'm either leaking all my coolants or I need to add more coolant. Let's see what's going on. All right, it doesn't look like it's leaking any coolant. I think I just need to add more coolant. So I'm gonna let it bleed for a little bit. Actually, to be honest with you, I really don't care. This is good. So this is bleeding it out. Uh, it's gonna need a lot more coolant now. So we let it run for a little bit longer. We just topped it off. We blood it. Let's see if anything's leaking. All right, nothing looks like it's leaking that's new. A good sign. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to you guys in a little bit. We have no coolant light, the AC's on, the car is not shaking like it usually does because I have the new fan. So that's amazing. I still, I ordered the two radiator mounts to help support, make sure every, everything is good. But right now the car is feeling better than ever. 
Uh, temperature is very low. The only light we have is uh, pretty much the SOS because of the whole navigation retrofit. We still, gonna, we still need to code that out and the tire pressure and we need to get some fuel. So I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm gonna get some oil stuff for the E46 uh, for the next video. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes and hopefully we don't find any issues. So yeah guys, if you guys are gonna wonder how, if you guys wanna see how the E46 job goes, make sure to smash the like button so you guys can see in the next video. Um, as of this video, I'm about to just go home, wash up the car, get her cleaned up so we can get her outside because we got a couple other projects to work on. So far so good guys, everything is great in the Navy. No lights on the dash, no cooling errors. So far so good. I don't think we have any leaks. I checked when we left Walmart as well. So let's just get some gas, head back home and get her cleaned up because she's super dirty. M3 is fully cleaned up. She looks so good, dude. That's why I can't sell her. I can never sell this car. I have so many great plans for this. I have so many plans for the wheels, again, suspension, um, engine mods, all kinds of good stuff. It's looking super clean. The only thing that's not super clean is the roof because this is the original roof. And uh, you guys can see it's slightly faded. But once we get this all painted, I'm gonna get the top painted black. The rest of it interlog is blue. Once it has all new paint, it should look really good. But as of now, I'm digging it. The reason I'm shooting on my phone is because I forgot my camera on my brother's car and uh, he's at work. So when he gets back, I'll continue making videos. But as of now, if you guys are stoked as I am for getting this M3 to finally start running and driving again, Make sure to smash the like button. If you guys want to see what's going on with the, the E46, why it's leaking oil, see if we could fix it and put some mods on it. Make sure to smash the like button. We went out and picked up a lot of cool things, a lot of M Sport things for the E46. And Keys Motorsports has also partnered for this build. So if you guys are excited for all that stuff, make sure to smash the like button. And without further ado, guys, remember to stay humble. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.